Welcome back, folks, to a brand new video. Slovenia, one of the most incredible Balkan countries to visit due to its jaw-dropping natural beauty. Whether you would like to visit a town surrounded by nature or want to see a traditional medieval place, then this video is for you. So here are nine beautiful places to visit in Slovenia. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Lake Bled. Lake Bled is undoubtedly one of the most popular places to visit within Slovenia. With the beautiful lake and island, the church situated in the middle, it's the perfect place to spend a day or two. You can take a dip in the lake, or if it's a little cold, you can row to the island and check out the church. There's also a castle which overlooks the lake where you can get the most fantastic views of the surroundings. Number 2. Shkofia Loka. Slovenia is full of beautiful castles. In fact, there are about 500 castles in the small country. The most famous castle is probably the one in Ljubljana. But don't miss Shkofia Loka. You can spend the morning just wandering around the small winding medieval streets and the stone bridge. Then spend the afternoon exploring the castle. And because it's so small, it's best to visit as a day trip from the capital city. Number 3. Maribor. Slovenia's second largest city is provincial and charming. With a medieval old town, and pedestrian only central streets and a wonderful skyline defined only by orange roofs and rolling hills. But the biggest draw is the town is also the site of a glorious landmark, the oldest vine in the world. More than 400 years old and is a symbol of rich wine culture in Maribor. Number 4. Socha Valley. If you've never heard of the Socha Valley before, then you're probably missing out on some context. The Socha River Valley is a narrow strip of Slovenia squeezed between Triglo's National Park and the border with Italy. Thanks to the mountains that surround it, the region has a remote feel to it. It's as if you found a hidden corner of the country. But what makes it truly special is the river, due to its unreal water colour. The area boasts several impressive waterfalls amongst its natural treasures. Many people choose to visit the Socha Valley because of all the outdoor activities it offers. But of course, there are other sightseeing locations such as the forts, waterfalls, bridges and rivers. Number 5. Ljubljana Ljubljana is easily one of the most beautiful places in Slovenia and in 2016 it earned the title of the European Green Capital. Now there are a ton of great things to do in this city and it's small enough that even two days here are perfect to see everything it has to offer. And because it's such a green place, walking is the best option to get around. Of course, visiting the castle will be the highlight. But one thing's for sure, it is a great place to base yourself to do other day trips.
Number six, Pregiama Castle. Castle Pregiama is nine kilometers away from Poštojna, one of Europe's most dramatic castles. And let me tell you, it teaches everyone a clear lesson. If you want to build an impregnable fortification, put it in a gaping mouth of a cavern, halfway up a 123 meter cliff. Today, the castle is a museum where you can learn so much of its history. See a collection of old weapons, paintings, and sculptures. But point to note, make sure you buy multiple tickets for the cave tour, as well as the castle. It's also in the Guinness Book of Records. Once you see it, you'll understand why. Number seven, Triglo National Park. Triglo National Park is located between Italy and Austria and in the northern western part of Slovenia. And it covers an area of over 838 square kilometers. It offers a unique experience because of an exceptional natural beauty and cultural heritage. And it's the only national park in Slovenia, therefore, it has great value for Slovenian people in their wish to preserve all of its natural wonders. Now there are so many things to do and see that visitors may have a tough time to select. But one thing you should know is that for the outdoors, it is the perfect location. Number eight. Slovenia's picture of perfect town with beautiful scenery including a castle that overlooks the city and a bell tower that majestically stands at the fork of the main avenue. The castle above the town of the oldest wine cellars dominates over the streets of one of the most colourful carnivals in the world. It's also been recognised by UNESCO. So for those of you who travel abroad just for wine tasting or a relaxing thermal spa, this is the perfect place to do it. Number nine, Haran. Set at the tip of the Istrian Peninsula, overlooking the Adriatic Sea, the medieval city of Peran is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Slovenia. Like other coastal cities in the region, Peran is characterized by meandering streets and pastel houses, tightly squeezed together. Standing in the marble plaza, overlooking the tiny marina, you'd be forgiven for thinking you were in Venice. Peran is somewhat small and best explored on foot. So take a stroll along the marina and revel amongst the seafood restaurants. So there you have it folks, that was the beautiful Slovenia. So for those of you who have never been there before, I highly recommend that you do so. Also coming this week is the Guide to Life videos which are back. This week is about solo travel. We get too many questions about being alone and loneliness. So if this is something that you want to do in the future, this is the perfect video for you. So don't forget to check that out this week. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.